Well, hello everybody. If you recall, a couple of weeks ago I made a video about 13 RVing essentials. Well, 14 actually with the recommendation from Robert and Jessica. And I obviously forgot a lot of stuff because you guys commented on the video and added a lot to it. So today, this is like an addendum to that video, if you will. This is RVing Essentials, part two. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. And let me tell you, I was really hoping to make this video from uh, the Florida Keys. As you know, I went to the Dry Tortugas National Park. Beautiful place. I'll put a link to that video too if you haven't seen it by any chance. But let me show you, let me, let me um, enumerate here uh, the, the other RVing essentials that I forgot to mention. And one of them is a clear sewer elbow. And that should have gone with the extension uh, sewer hose, you know, all the sewer hose together. Might as well do it. But you need an elbow, and uh, as a matter of fact, you need something clear to see what's coming out of your black water tank. In my case, I have a straight because my, my sewer outlet is very, very low to the ground. So if I make even an elbow, making it even lower, eh, <laughs> you almost have no incline to, to, for gravity to do its thing. Another, word, uh, another place where you can put the elbow is right by the sewer. Uh, a hole on the ground that's another place that people put put it sometimes but yeah you need if not an elbow an elbow at least a straight so you can see what's coming out of your black water tank so if you when you're flushing the black water tank you know when it's relatively clean it's I'm sure, i doubt it's ever gonna be clean okay this one i cannot believe i forgot about it but very important you need a 30 to 50 amp adapter because sometimes you know especially in the in the older uh, campgrounds or the campgrounds that are geared mostly towards big rigs all they have is 50 amp so you need a, a 50 to uh, a 30 to 50 amp adapter so you can connect your if you have a, a small rv like me if you have a big rig psh, no big deal but if you have a, a 30 amp rv you, you should have one of those because i mean the campgrounds usually have have them but they, they charge you for it so why and also an extension cord especially here when especially like if, if i am uh, 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 here in the house where I am right now, if I want to connect it to the to the 20 uh, amp uh, power, it doesn't reach. Uh, so uh, you, need, you need an extension cord, and I also suggest uh, a 30 to 20 amp hour, just in case you are in one of those situations where you you only you all you have is a regular uh, household outlet, and you want to connect your RV. Just don't run your AC and your microwave at the same time because gonna blow a fuse and the, the, the next one is another one that I, I cannot believe I forgot to wheel chocks you need wheel chocks and I recommend the ones that wedge under the wheels that's the, the those are the ones that I have right now because there's also the ones that if, especially if you have tandem wheels like I do it like wedges itself between the two wheels I don't think that one is effective in fact we uh, drove out of a campground once I'm not going to say where, well, yes, I'm going to say where, just north of Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> and um, I had one of those that wedges between the wheels and you tighten it. And supposedly it locks the wheels. I mean, you have to tighten it really hard. And, and if, if you start going, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kick it out. So get the one that actually goes under the wheels. And I do believe, in my opinion, that's the best kind. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, they, 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 in addition to, uh, to um, I, I mentioned in the last uh, video, headlamps. And yeah, in addition to headlamps, maybe you should have, I mean, flashlights. And in, in addition to flashlights, maybe you should have a headlamp, you know, so you are hands-free. And here in my drawer of mysteries, I do have a headlamp. And uh, I used to have two, actually, but I gave my mom one when Hurricane Irma came. So yeah, very important. Okay, what else do we have here? A fire extinguisher. Of course, every RV by law has to come with a fire extinguisher. Mine is right here by the door. I'm going to show it to you. But it doesn't hurt to have an extra one, you know, and keep it handy. So if by any chance your RV bursts into flames, you at least can fight your way out of the RV. I wouldn't attempt to like put out the fire, <laughs> you know, because usually RVs are so, so you know, uh, flammable that they combust like this. Um, 
uh, someone suggested an emergency cone warning sign and yeah if you have the, if, especially if, if, if you have the room for it and if you have a motorized um it doesn't hurt to do it what the heck you know what my fantastic van just closed because it's kind of a rainy day here in miami but it doesn't matter we're almost done so i'm not gonna be sweating oh yeah it started raining <laughs> all right I don't know if you can hear it. Anyway, an emergency cone warning sign, you know, something if you by any chance break down, you can put in the back of your RV or maybe those uh, flares that the police uses. It doesn't hurt. I actually have a flashlight that that has a red flasher <coughs> that might hurt. That I mean, help. That might help too. Um, someone suggested a magnifying lens. Um, I haven't found a use for it, but I'm sure uh, someone has. So it doesn't hurt to have a magnifying lens anywhere. There's, there are apps on your phone that that uh, that do that function. But of course, yeah, it's, it doesn't hurt to have a good magnifying lens. Uh, bug spray, of course, bug spray. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to cut to that. Bugs essential in Florida or anywhere where there are mosquitoes. Actually, you wouldn't believe it, but in, um, in Alaska in the summer, oh, mosquitoes are like helicopters. You, you wouldn't believe it. And uh, yeah, it's raining. It's raining. Actually, let me show you. I'm gonna take a B-roll with with my uh, phone camera here, and it is really coming down. I haven't been able to replace my awning yet after Hurricane Irma, but yeah. Okay, uh, bug spray, and not only bug spray. You have to have citronella ca candles. Uh, 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 a vaporizer, I would have a vaporizer too. I used to have a spray uh, that stunk like uh, like uh, like garlic, but it was super effective. Uh, you know, the mosquitoes wouldn't come near the RV. You, you said like a perimeter around your RV. And there are those lamps, I mean, belts and suspenders on this one. You, it, it, well, yeah, <laughs> especially if you, if you ever plan to camp uh, in the summer in Florida, England, Security camera and and also so someone also suggested a backup camera and the backup camera yeah if your RV is, is older and didn't come with one it, or is it like a trailer like mine's it, it's it's good to have and it's good to have security cameras I mean mo I, I I have found that once you leave the cities it's pretty safe uh, everywhere in our country but. Yeah, why not? It's it's good to have a security camera and then you have extra footage just in case, you know, uh, someone comes knocking in the night. And, and if you are a, a video creator like me, yeah, it, it doesn't hurt to have a security camera and get extra footage. I don't have one. And what I used to what I used to buy, the, the only time I use a camera and it's not a, a good product for that because 50% of the time it fails. I have that Sony action camera or the GoPro that I put on the on the back of the tow vehicle when I'm going to hitch on my own and that way I can see, you know, uh, uh, where, where the ball and the, and the hitch receiver, the, the, hitch, the, the, um, the tongue of the RV and, um, and hitch up easier that way. Anyways, those are, uh, uh, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this, I'm going to call this video, right? Uh, RV, 10 RVing Essentials, part two. And, uh, I'm sure we're still missing a lot of... Oh, I almost forgot. Here we are. In the previous video, I showed you these two... Um, I call them a first aid kit, but they're really survive, survival kits by American Standard. And they are on Amazon. I'm going to put links to it because the, the, the guy who sent them to me has given us a coupon codes. And I hope they work. There are some coupon codes like for 50% one-time use. So, so use the one that, that works. And then they have it has like a general coupon code for... Uh, for an, another discount so so check that out um, and I actually used uh, one of the items in here uh, uh, on my last trip and you haven't seen that video yet but you, you will I'm, I'm, I'm really behind on the videos guys I'm gonna start putting the date at the beginning because uh, at this point uh, we are over a month behind on the on the regular videos except the one from the keys and um, the raincoat the raincoat uh, is not a raincoat, it's really a poncho. It's a one-time use poncho, if, if you know what I mean. But it was raining cats and dogs when I was at, uh, at Watson Mill Bridge State Park in, Florida, in Georgia and I had to, uh, I had to leave. 
and so it came very handy to hitch up and and do all that stuff okay that's all i have for you today this is going to be a little shorter video uh, and the, the, another video about 10 uh, rving essentials and if you have any other essentials you'd like to point out uh, that i didn't cover in the previous video or this video comment below and as always I, I appreciate you watching my video so I'm starting to sweat here it's Florida and even though it's uh, November 13th as I'm recording this it's probably already uh, 90 degrees out there see you on the road guys thank you so much uh, for watching thank you so much for supporting the show bye now if you have enjoyed traveling with us and make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos also, share it with your friends, spread the word, and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.